Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio for the card Tuesday, May 3rd. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant and run. Round of applause for Leicester City. The biggest upset in sports history is now complete. Tottenham blows the 2-0 lead. They have a draw at Chelsea. They haven't won at Chelsea since 1990, by the way. And Leicester City, 5,000 to 1 here in Las Vegas at the Westgate. One ticket, $5 at 2,000 to 1. Uh, one $10 ticket and one $5 ticket at 1,000 to 1. In Nevada, three batters at William Hill got Lester at 2,500 to 1. And now you see the, the comments from the spokespeople. William Hill will never offer something over 1,000 to 1 again. They got buried on that. I think 20 people had 5,000 to 1. And Ladbrokes, uh, will, you'll, will never, you'll never, excuse me, gone are the days where you see 5,000 to 1 will never see an underdog that high again. Never be that generous again to put this in perspective. I mean, again, run it down. Last place. They're in last place April 17th of last year. They have to rally to win eight of their last ten matches to avoid relegation. They finish in 14th place. There's no salary cap in the Premier League. Think about that. I mean, this is the, this is the little engine that could. Their first top flight title in 132 years. Their previous best finish was second place in the 1928-29 season. So you go from 14th to 1st, the 5,001. Other things that are 5,001. Cal State Bakersfield was 5,001 to win the NC2A tournament. They went out in the first round. The Minnesota Timberwolves at the end of January when they were 14 and 35, they were 5,001 to win the NBA title. They finished 14 games out of the playoffs. A 16-year-old amateur at the Masters was, was 5,001. He was 21 over par. Other things you can bet in England that were 5,001. Loch Ness Monster, proven to exist. Will Elvis be found alive? Will Kim Kardashian be president in 2020? Will Christmas be the warmest day of the year? The list goes on and on and on. And some of these, you know, I was talking to Teddy Covers. He called bullshit that the Rams were never 300 to 1, and they put that out there. But oh, let's call the Rams 200 to 1, the 1999 Rams, the 1991 Minnesota Twins 200 to 1, Buster Douglas 42 to 1. Uh, hard to believe the Team USA was 1,000 to 1 in 1980. But those are your, some of your historic long shots. And move over for Leicester City. You'll never see it again. 5,000 to 1. And congrats to everyone who had it. What a story. As one player said, it changes the EPL forever. Every player will now think that we can pull a Leicester City. I can't believe it. Cannot believe it. 5,000 to 1. Again, this isn't like a Cal State Bakersfield, which is, you know, that'll never happen. But that's six games. This is 38 matches. 38 matches an entire season that they have to do this and bring their A game. They only have three losses. They have three losses the entire year. Deep dive on this on the radio show at 10 a.m. Pacific with Bruce Marshall. Listen to the podcast. We have a soccer expert on, Mark Ziegler, from the San Diego Union Tribune, also coming up at uh, 1030 Pacific. How about the Spurs? Oh, man. They're, that's why the Thunder have blown 15 leads going into the fourth quarter. Why is Waiters inbounding the ball? He throws it up for grabs. They don't call the foul on Waiters. I don't know what he's thinking. And then they foul Aldridge shooting a three again. You know, Kawhi Leonard didn't bring his A game, but Aldridge killed him for 41. Great bounce back by OKC. Way to come back after getting blown out by 30. Now, the, only t the last team to lose by 30 in game one and win the series, the 85 Lakers. But a great job by OKC. We got a series game three on Friday. Charles Barkley's been said he's been associated with the NBA for 30 years. He's never seen that before. I haven't either. I mean, what is Waiters doing on Ginobili? I cannot believe they didn't call that. Time to tell you what I'm betting. Uh, three big feature pro picks up at pregame. Fezzik's got his three-star NBA game of the week that goes tonight. You want to get on board for that. Sleepy with his MLB three-star as well. And J.R. O'Donnell's got plenty of derby picks up there over my shoulder or go to buy picks. Uh, another winner yesterday with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Another winner in hockey. Nothing today. We'll be back Wednesday handicapping the Cappers. Probably hockey or could be uh, NBA. So uh, nothing today but another good winner. As they, they got outshot, but they, they almost blew a three-goal lead, but they win. Lately, that series, two games to one. As always, betting half of you on the free play. Sleepy likes Portland plus the 10 tonight. Game two against Golden State. Read his full write-up and analysis and get all the free picks up at pregame.com. I've ranted. Now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. We'll talk to you Wednesday on pregame.com.